That's gonna be on the recording, buddy. <laughs> It's voiceover time. Once again, hello, it's me, Stamper, or Zach, whatever you want to call me. Just don't call me Dad. So let's take a look who's playing. We have Jasper, who's our dungeon master, who uh, you may have noticed from our Gang Beast event. Uh, we also have Hamish, who was also from the same Gang Beast event. Of course, me. Uh, we have two Sams, uh, Dalson and Savory. We try to follow the rules as much as we can, but we're not going to follow it to the T if we don't know something in the moment. So if you, uh, if you're like in the comments, oh, you should have, you couldn't have done Fireball at X amount of moments. We're just having a little bit of fun. It's just quarantine. Um, we were all very excited to play D&D again, because since we're in lockdown at the moment, we can't really go anywhere. What is D&D? I hear you thinking, Kobe. Uh, D and D is a role playing game that you can play with anyone. You can pick up a little starter set here, and uh, you can play with your friends. You can start uh, with people that have never played before. You can play with some veterans. It's very fun, and I I really encourage anyone to play it. Uh, these type of videos are going to have very minimal editing because uh, they're just a bit of fun, and I just want to have the campaign out there. Anyway, that's all from me. I hope you enjoy the video, and I will catch you later. That's me. Uh, oh, man, yeah, man, get man. get your snackies and shit. We're gonna be here for a long run. Am I the only oh. one that's been prepared? <laughs> I am. Okay, this is me. So. Well, why everyone's gone, I may as well talk to myself. Or the recording. Whatever. Welcome to D&D. I have no idea what the fuck's going to happen, but I'm excited. I'm very excited. We all made a character, and um, I'm very excited to start this. So we're going to see how this goes, and that's about it. Okay, okay. I'm not going to interfere anymore. Right. We open on the city of Thalalanor in the world of Malto, a How's sprawling land. Thalalanor? Yeah. T H E L? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I thought it was an F. Yeah. Thalalanor. A L E N? Okay, okay, Jasper, I'm going to stop you again, actually. Um, I'm supposed to yeah. change something from money to gear. Is that correct? I've, it's all right. Don't worry about it. You've done that? Okay, I need to get oh, that character sheet up then. It, no, it's like, it, like, like we'll be able to do it in a sec. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Thalalan... Now? Thalalanor. T-H-E-L-A-L-E-N-O-R. Got it. Do you have a map, by the way, that you can send to us? Okay. Luckily, Ash! Yeah. Not a map of the city, but a map of the world. Oh, yep. Which is called. You put a fucking spider in the chat. Melton. Uh, this is general for PC Master. Um, it was. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh yeah. Oh, oh shit, dude. Alright, I need to put this on screen so everyone can see. Oh, I like the abyss, bro. World of Malto. I don't get abyss in this dick. <laughs> the Lalanor is ruled by King Rothilian Colonna in a grand castle adorned with vines and foliage of gold made from a perfect white marble that comes from the mountain range behind it. And then from there, we move down the city through Sedum Heights, which is a district filled with gorgeous religious buildings, majestic castles, and mansions occupied by all the richest and most noble elves and adventurers in Thalalanor. We move further south over, over a great obsidian wall that divides the rich from the poor into a great metropolitan of huts, markets, and other small buildings, where most of the population of Thalalanor resides. We move through the muddy streets and stables into a ta tavern called the Snoring Lamb, we're in the corner. There is a large dragonborn man with a long pipe with bright green mist rising from it named Nikjik Zortran. Zach, 
please introduce your character. <clears throat> do you want me to do it in person or actually I'll do a third person right now. <clears throat> I am Nikajik Zathorin. I am a dragonborn. Um, I am six foot five, I think we agreed on in the end. Yeah. I am a cleric and I am of the black series, black species of dragon. Is there anything I missed? No, you can tell as much or as little as you like. <laughs> Right. Um, well, you're, so you're in the bar, Zach. What would what would Nikajik be doing at the moment? Um, <clears throat> Nikajik is just kind of chilling back, kind of scouring around, see what he can do. Just very bored, trying to look what like to see what he can do. Okay, so you're sitting in the corner and you see a small human man who is just sort of standing in the middle of the bar not really sitting at a table not really looking for a drink sort of anxiously looking around okay and then he slowly scans the room goes up to a man and says something to him and just gets shoved off completely <laughs> he uh, gets pushed to the ground I, 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 I go up to him and I say <clears throat> Boy, are you okay? He looks up at you and goes, Oh, Jesus! <laughs> A dragonborn! Oh, oh, uh, th th thank you, Mr. Uh, I'm actually not okay. You see, it's, it's my son. Mm. It's my son. Some, someone, someone's gone and taken him, sir. I need some help. Will you help me? Hmm. Of course I will. Where was the last time you saw this boy? I woke up and he was gone. Mm. I don't know where to look. Interesting. As you say that, the doors of the tavern swing open, revealing a tall, slim, shadowy figure, removes his hood and reveals himself as an elf. Sam, introduce your character. Savory, that is. I am Albertois Germont. I am a high elf of high nobility. And I have no business, I have no care for what what your troubles are. I only want to solve my problems. As long as it will as long as what I'm doing helps me, I will do it. That is all. As you enter the bar, Slaz, the bartender looks up at you. And uh, goes, Albertois, over here, my friend. I have your things. Ah, cheers, random bartender. <laughs> and he hands you um, some chainmail armor, which um, bumps your AC up to 16. What does that mean? Um, so if you go into your character sheet, <clears throat> is it a PDF? Yep. Um, let me just find it. Hang on, it's laid out. Oh, can you not edit it? Well, see the armor class? Oh, I can edit it. I, I should be able to edit. I can edit yeah, mine, I'm so pretty sure. Armor class, which is in the like middle column. Um, bu, 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 bu. Uh, yes. It should yes. be in like a shield. Change that yep. to 16. From 11 to 16. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And then in your... If you go down just into like, you can go into like like any of the empty things that you want to equipment. keep your inventory, yeah, equipment. Yeah. Um, put in an explorer's pack. Yep. And um, a religious symbol. <clears throat> just and a religious that out is. Yep. And yep. then in weapons. Uh, ooh, where the. Uh, weapons and attack. Yep, yep. Um, in one of them, put halberd. Oh, dude. Yep. Put in the in the hit one. Put plus three. Yep. And then damage type is I think it's one d ten.
Yeah, one D ten slashing. Put in the damage type. One D ten slashing. Yep. And then the bartender goes, um, goes Albertois. I'll pay you if you just this man over here. He's been pushed by three or four customers now, and that disgusting dragon folk is helping him. Will you help him just get them out of my bar? They're bad for business. Oh, what is he of my bother? I've helped you out far too many times. What is this man to me? Hey, he's nothing to you, sir, but just help him, please. It will help me a great deal. Fine, but you owe me one, big time. I owe you many, sir. I walk over to the fallen man. Is he still fallen? Uh, he's been helped up by the Dragonborn. Okay. Be wary, little man. Dragonborns are not to be trusted in these lands. I will help you. I look over and just give him a wildly glare. <clears throat> uh, the man says, please, you could both honestly help me. Sirs, they, I... I've heard of goblins in these forests, and we could do with as many hands as we could get. If goblins have taken my boy, I need every man or woman that can help me. Is there some reward for finding your son? Do not pester this you young man. He has lost his boy. You do not expect payment from him. I'll, I'll give you everything I own, sirs. It's not very much, but please just help me. It's my, it's my son. We're here from... We're here from a far away place. We're just looking to sell some things and go home, and he's gone. Fine. I will work with this lowly dragonborn. Who you coin, lonely boy? What's your tongue? I just so do chuff on my, uh, my little, my little uh, <laughs> pipe. That's it. <laughs> okay, so the man goes, I'm I'm Victor, by the way. Victor, Victor Great Castle. And he gets up and leads you guys out of the bar. And I'm going to need you both to roll perception checks. Perception? Oh, perception. Oh, fuck. Okay, now it's going to be hard not to roll them off. I got a six. Um, and my perception. Right. Okay, so for the for that column of skills, what yep. do I roll? What dice do I roll? So you roll a d20 and then add that number to a d20 and then add the plus whatever it is. Yep. Uh, perception plus three, so uh, six plus three, that's nine. nine. Uh, fourteen plus three is seventeen. Okay, so you're walking down. Uh, you're walking just down a muddy street, and he's sort of leading you off to a. To his house to sort of show you where like where the, the kidnapping he suspects took place. And Zortran, you feel like you kick a rock and you trip over. And you look down and a head of a human or a gnome or something pops up from the ground and then a whole body burrows itself out of the ground and looks at you. Hamish, please introduce your <laughs> By Lice of Athena, to Safina, what is that? Okay. <laughs> so I, I look up at, uh, was it, was it Zach who found me? Yes. I, I look over at, at Nick, that's what we call him, and I, I reach out a little hand to, 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 I, I to reach his down. Hand. I reach, <laughs> reach down. Oh. But you can call me Rimmy. <laughs> Ribby, is it? Nice to meet you, boy. Would you like boy. a treat? Would you like a treat? What type of treats do you have? I hold out a handful of gravel. I take it and put it in my pocket. I will have it later. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> May I accompany you? I look at the elf and like... I've been in the ground for quite a while. Thank you for waking me up. I, I look at the elf and be like... I cannot see why not. Well, I'm coming with you anyway. Where are we going? As long as he does not touch me, I... 
Victor. I felt like, like throwing gravel at, at, at um, Albert's feet. I, gr I grab him and go, not start this. Not now. Not this early. Can I go on your shoulder? Keep your I say why not. Control, Dragon Ball. He is not a pet. He is more than a life than you will ever have, elf. Uh, oh, no. I, I put him Victor, on my shoulder. Victor looks at you. Victor looks at you, uh, uh, Remy. As you clamber up onto Nick's shoulder, he goes, you are, you seem to know these lands are quite well, sir. Is, is there any, do you know how to track my boy or, or know if there's any goblins in this area? Your boy? Is he lost? Someone's taken him, I believe, sir. Oh, oh dear. Yes, I know, I know these lands look the back of me head. Please, can you do something to help us find him? Of course. But at first, I need to ask everyone's names. I'm near here. I am Albertois Jamon of the High Elf. I uh, am... Pleasure to meet you, Alby. <laughs> pleasure to meet you, Rimmy. I am Nikajik Zathorin. Pleasure to meet you. It's always a pleasure, Big Nick. Well, I'm a... I'm Victor Greycastle, sir. Thank you for helping me. Uh, all the days work for Remy. <laughs> so can you can you help me track my boy? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can I do like a? Can I just start like huffing some dirt? <laughs> yeah. Do a do a do a nature check. <laughs> um, uh, that's a fifteen. Um. Do you. You like can taste the like <laughs> the feet of goblins, like okay. off to your right, sort of off the path into sort of like a bit of foresty area. Yeah. All right. Well, there's definitely goblins nearby, but I, I don't know where. But in in which direction, sir? Well, I usually get a stick, like one of those wishbone sticks. <laughs> And I'll let that guide me. So. <laughs> Can I do a luck check to see if I end up going the right way? Yeah, <laughs> just roll a d20. Uh, that's a 11. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 put, you like spin around with a stick and stop and start walking and Victor follows you. All like... right, this way, guys. <laughs> Follow Remy. I hop off of the um, shoulders and I start toddling away. Um, Sam and Zach, do you guys follow? Or... Yeah, of course I do. I'm following this shit. <laughs> I reluctantly follow. <laughs> so you guys are probably walking through the forest for a good, like, hour and a half to two hours without hearing anything until you hear the faint crackling of fire. And Victor sort of perks up as a ranger, looks around a bit and squints his eyes and scurries off a little way. I think I hear them. Oh, wait, oh, wait. And he sort of goes in between two bushes and, and crouches down. All right, that's me. I just start digging a hole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, because, yeah, I got, like, I got, like, three shovels on me. Yeah, yeah, you do. What a weird... Thing. I, I, I don't trust this little man. Which one, the Victor or any Remy? little man are on? <laughs> uh, Victor goes, yeah, sirs, I see them. They're over there. Come quick. Uh, good luck. We, f I, I follow. I go. You, you get you, you crouch behind. Um, behind Victor, and you can see four goblins, um, like around a campfire with like a few tents, like just a little encampment. Before we go any further, we will move back to the city, oh. to a small hut in the downtown district. We see a wiry and dirty young man waking up to start his day. Sam, introduce your character. I'm Matt. Uh, 
<laughs> Matt Luke? Not, <laughs> not, not, not much more to it, I guess. Um, yeah, I got this sweet necklace that, that I nicked the other day at my job. But uh, apart, apart from that, I guess it's just time time for work. Yeah, but describe yeah. your describe your morning serve. routine. What do you do before you get up and go to work? Uh, roll out of bed. Uh, sometimes I shower, depending on what the weather's like. Uh, normally just fix myself a little a little bowl of oats. Feed Gerard. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna love Gerard. Gerard's so lovely. Gerard's my tallest. He's, he's so lovely. You're going to love Gerard. Um, yes. Yeah, feed Gerard. Mount, mount that bad son of a bitch. And r- ride him to work. Mint. Just me and Gerard. Okay, so you hop on Never. Gerard. Forever. And you, you set up. Big at... Gerard. <laughs> Gerard's big. He's, Gerard's a giant. He's a giant tortoise. Giant tortoise. He's like a okay. lapis tortoise or whatever. <sighs> We start moving down the street at mm. painfully slow uh, speeds as you get looks of just mild confusion from people, just sort of like registering that that's a, that's a massive tortoise, but not really caring and just sort of, they just sort of keep going and you go for about half an hour and move maybe 10 meters. And then as you pass a building, your necklace. Are you wearing it around your neck, or is it just like in your pocket? Mm. No, around no, no, no. the well, Thought I'd dress up for work today, so I put it around nice. my neck. Nice. You feel it sort of, sort of hum, like a little bit. Just sort of goes like, mm. like a sort of a cool noise. And Gerard goes. Mm. And then goes, and does a full ninety degree pivot and walks perfectly like directly off into the into the woods away from your your work oh Gerard if they're doing a detour this morning <laughs> we're going on an adventure <sighs> so we'll cut back to the other three and Victor is like right we should we should have a we should come up with some sort of plan which we need to we need to do we just catch him by surprise, right? What, what do we What do we do? Yes, I will lead you, the dragonborn, and follow me, support me as I as I take down these goblins. Okay, okay I agree. I do, I... All right. I would uh, like to see uh, this. Where, elf where is get Where hurt. is the Where is the Where is the Where is the mole man gone? Where, where, where's Remy? Ruby's about a meter underground, <laughs> trying to build a little trap door in his hole. So, so, so are you are you just gonna stay down there, or are you gonna are you gonna? Oh uh, yeah, be, best of luck to you guys. I got you here. Just I just I just I reach just down you. and just fucking try to grab him out. <laughs> roll up, everyone. Roll perception checks. Right, can I roll an agility Nine. check? Against... <laughs> yeah, yeah, roll, a, roll an agility check. What do you want me to do? Uh, roll a, Zach, roll a strength check. Am I ro- wait, am I rolling? I got 11 I plus 1. Perception. I got 11, 12 I got 12. Can I roll I... a disadvantage because I'm in a hole? Yes, roll a... Actually, no, just roll it flat because I feel like you'd be at home in a hole. Okay, what was my, um, what was the check? Strength? Uh, I was strength. Was you got to do agility. My agility. perception was 12. I got 12, 12. perception. Oh, wait, agility's uh, athletics, right? Oh, acrobatics. Yeah, yeah. Wait, which one? Because they're different. Uh, do acrobatics. Three. <laughs> okay, he gets you by the scruff of the neck. He rips you out, and while he's doing that, he fills the hole in with his other foot and then plants like, you down I'm on the like, ground. I assume, I assume he's grabbed me by like the scruff of my shirt. Yeah, he's got you by like, the back of the neck. Yeah, yeah. Dirty, dirty boy. All right, all right, I hope you're fine. <laughs> Sam, you you see that the uh, the goblins in the camp have noticed something sort of off over to your left. 
um, approaching them and they're sort of a bit like a bit standoffish and unsure whether they've, they've, been, they've been noticed by whatever they have noticed. How many goblins are there again? Sorry. There were four. Okay. And then, hey, uh, <clears throat> Zach, roll a perception check and Hamish, roll one with disadvantage because you're, you're preoccupied trying to get down. Uh, 18. Do you sense... Wait, hang you... on. Hold up. Perception. Plus three. So that's like... 21. 21, yeah. I got an you... eight. <laughs> you get not you 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 hear nothing, Amish. You're you're struggling with this. Um, you hear, um, Zach. You hear a gulp behind you. Like Victor goes like, <coughs> like boom, goes like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I turn around to see uh, to look at Victor. There is a goblin with like an arm around Victor's uh, Victor's neck. And a knife in his belly, or like point, like pointed there. And he goes, "Boys, we've got an ambush!" And then cuts open Victor and sort of backs off a bit. As and in, as in cuts open kills Victor. Doesn't kill him, but like puts a big like <laughs> does a big number on him and then sort of like backs off a bit. And then, to, and then like the four Victor. other goblins go, "I knew it!" And they spot um, Matt and Gerard going through the forest, and everyone is going to need to roll initiative. I got I go, um, six. I, I look Wait. at Victor and just say, oh, don't worry, I've got a rock that can fix that. <laughs> Where is the initiative? Uh, it's just a roll of the dice, so a d20. It's, it's to a the D20? left of your armor class. It's to the left of your armor class. Oh, ah, okay, I so didn't know that. Down. Plus two. I got Eight. 16. I got a 21. I got a Wait, 17. No, no. I got a 19. My initiative is plus zero. I thought it was two. I got a 19. Um, so, Rumi. And then... What did you get, Zach? I got a... No. Six. Yeah. Eight. Eight. And then Slaz? I got a 17. 17. And Sam? 16. Alright, give me a sec. <clears throat> Wait, so the goblins have noticed Matt coming. Wait, Matt. They've right noticed up. Matt off to the left, and uh, like they've they sort of they've heard you. They've heard okay. their mate, so they've noticed you as well. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> Um, so you got boom, and then boom, and then boom, boom, and then boom, 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 boom. And then let me show, let me share my screen. Oh, oh, uh... oh my god. Holy Here we've shit. got load. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. god. We've got combat. Yeah. <laughs> this is groovy. Now, so the first to act is Hamish. That's Remy. To... Remy. Sorry. All right. That's my movement. Uh, 25. Uh, can you just point out who's who? Sorry. Uh, so this is Hamish. Yep. Or this is Remy. That's Albatois. That's, uh, this is Nikajik. That is an injured Victor. That's the goblin. And then this is Matt and <laughs> oh, It's a giant tortoise. <laughs> it's a giant yeah. tortoise. Is that a snapping turtle? It's a snap. It's a, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh That's my God. It. They didn't have the he's, biggest. He's surprisingly play. They didn't have the biggest uh, selection of, um, of figures. Understood. 
Um, okay. Um, sorry, just before we start, can you explain how movement works again? So what number do you have for speed? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I cannot find speed. Uh, your speed should be... Uh... It's under your armor class. Bottom cubicle, like the bottom slot in your yeah. armor class. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's oh, like dead 30, center. Uh, 30 feet walking. Yep. So that's just like, it's just dirty. And okay. so each of these cubes is, um, mm -hmm. or like the length, a side of this cube is five feet. But like, no, a quarter of the cube is five feet. So a cube is 10 feet. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So each, it's a, so each square is a 10 by 10 area. Yeah. So if Hamish were to go like to the, that corner there, which you can't because there's a tree there, but there, yep. there is, um, that's he's moved five feet. <clears throat> okay. I can move five tiles. No, you've got twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five would be five tiles, wouldn't it? Is one no, tile five feet? Tile is a tile is ten. Tile, tile is five. Oh, tile is okay. ten. Because you were already on that tile. So you can so you can move like, two and a half tiles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very. I am gonna. <laughs> Go into a rage. Yeah. Because I'm wow. angry. Um, and I think I'm just going to go up to the guy that got Victor. Yep. Are you going to attack him? Um, to... Yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to go up to this, this goblin and say, you weren't my customer. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you'll pay. And then I'm just gonna hit him with a, uh, a good old shovel to the shin. Roll to hit. Is that a D eight? That's an eleven. D twenty. Okay, so that you still roll a D twenty. Mm -hmm. Misses. Uh, I so let me just go. <clears throat> Gonna write down all the stats so I can um so I don't have to tab out over and over again. Damage. Okay. Uh, next, next is Albatois. Um, I I will move forward to. <laughs> I'll go round the bushes to the one on the right next to that big pot. Yep. Uh, that. That's yep. That is good. Yep. And I will, uh, I will whip out my halberd, and yep. I will say, "You shall die, you lowly lowlife." And swing. <laughs> Roll to hit. D twenty. You got a tw yeah, a D twenty. I thought you rolled an one. Uh, and then add. Um, so there should be like the hit dice, which is the second column in your weapons, will be what you add. Oh, so the where it says hit. Okay. Yep. Uh, I got a twelve. That misses. <sighs> oh. um, next is Matt. Just, just quickly. So, how does my wild magic work? If you do a spell, uh, not a cantrip, just a, like one of your spells, which you only have like, only you only are two. able to do like two um, yeah. in like a day. Uh, you'll roll a d20, and then for the first time, you'll do. If you roll a nat one, then I'll roll the wild magic thing, and something will happen. But cantrips is there's nothing. And can my hitting, like, can me just try and hit things? Can what do you that mean? can that be 
some form of magic. Or like maybe like the What are you trying to do? Like like I'm not trying to hit anything yet. But like if he just like tries to swing like he's a pissy little human, but like he sort of has magical Yeah, so like throwing a punch or casting a spell, they'd both be like um attacks or they'd be like your main action. So they'd do they'd be the same. Like you could either like punch something or cast a spell. Yeah. And where are the weapon multipliers? Um, they are in equipment. Oh, so there are no hit multipliers on things like daggers and stuff like that. No, not really. Okay. Because your spells will do more damage than... Yeah. Uh, Matt is still very confused and doesn't really know what's going on, so he just continues to lumber forward on the back of Gerard. Uh, to the right? Just, like, still towards the campfire. He's still just blindly following Gerard's scent. But he does hear, as the commotion breaks out, he hears a, a, a deep chuckling what seems like in his mind. <laughs> Joker moment. <laughs> <laughs> so I did have, but once you get off um, Gerard, you can move for Gerard as well. Yeah. He doesn't have much movement, but he can still do a little bit. Five yeah. Feet. Um, now it is Nick and Jake. All right. Um, hmm. I turn to where Hamish is and I go, Duck boy! And I use a uh, breath weapon, so I use acid breath. Um, Remy stays perfectly still. It's <laughs> <laughs> very short. Uh, <laughs> is he doing it on the goblin or on? Uh, I'm doing it on the goblin. Okay. Are we just staying there? Because like you're, they're, they're pretty much in the same square, so you don't really have to move. Uh, yeah, that's like the, that's fine. Yeah. It's right. like it's. Roll. Do you have to roll to hit for that? Uh. Or is it just a? Is like a saving throw. It's a attack slash saving throw. Dex. Okay. Does it do? Is it say? Do, do I have to make a dex saving throw? Yes. Like, you have to get above what? 12, I think. Above a 12? Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. And I got to do roll 2d6s for damage. So I yep. roll a 1 and a 4, so I get a 5. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's their damage? Yeah. They, uh, which one? they take the full damage. The goblin goes, ah! Oh, shit! And is that all you can do with your turn? Um, so that's one spell. So ye yeah, I'll yeah. say yeah. Uh, you so can the, do a bonus action goblin. as well, I think. Do you have any? I don't think we have any bonus actions because we're only. No, I don't have any First bonus level, actions at the moment. It's level babies. Oh. Um, the this goblin uh, doesn't disengage and moves. This way. Um, this goblin goes here and turns to slurs. These two turn this way and start moving towards Matt. Wait, does that goblin get? Do I get an opportunity of attack if he disengages? He no, because he disengaged, you don't get a, an attack of opportunity. That makes sense. Can Gerard attack? Um, Gerard can attack. Snapping to a um, form. Yeah, you go. You can do a little, do a little snap. That could. Break um, bones. and this one it does an attack on. I might just actually pull the dice roller up on my phone so I can just keep tabbing out. Um, Oh, 
What's your um, your AC is sixteen, isn't it, Slaz? Yes. The guy goes to like stab you on the shoulder and just bang, just bounces off your shoulder, and you take no damage. Ah! All right, it is uh, Remy's turn again. Oh, you won't be getting away that easy, Gobby. I'm gonna throw a hand axe in his back. Nice. As uh, a uh, roll to hit. <clears throat> Big money. Another 11. <laughs> <laughs> but I get a bonus action, which means yeah. I can do it again. <laughs> uh, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy. <laughs> I roll a ten. <laughs> you miss. You miss both. Maybe just sits down. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost it. All right, um, Albertois. Um, I will. I will go to hit this goblin. Roll to hit. With my halberd. Um, I get a 20. Nat 20? No. No. Um, I got 17 plus three. Uh, so that's a d10. Is that right? Yep. Um, I get a five. Ooh. Does that mean I hit him for five? You hit him for five damage. You stupid goblin just... thinking you can hit past this high elf. <laughs> you can describe what sort of move you do if you want. I do goblin. a double somersault backflip with a triple twirl. No, I just go for a, for a standard right swing slash. Nice. Nice. That goblin is looking pretty worse for wear after that. All right, Matt. Mm. <clears throat> and Gerard. Uh, he's, he's starting to get... Matt's starting to get a, lo a little bit nervous by the goblins surrounding him, but Gerard just continues to lumber forward. And as he moves past the first goblin to his left... He just goes, and Matt's on the back, and he just goes, uh, 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 I'm, uh, and, uh, I'm just trying to get to work. Can you, uh, please, just work. And that's it. That's it? Nick no! Um, can I take this time to ask how cantrips work? Cantrips, uh, will, they work, um, as like, instead of an attack, you can do that. I'm pretty sure. Like, it's not a bonus action, but it's like a spell at any time. Like, it's just something you know how to do. How do I know what cantrip I have? Uh, if you go that? down to the third page, mm -hmm. should have cantrips on it. You'll only, I think you've only got one. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. I remember this. Yep. And that's, that's mending, I think. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. Really sorry oh, about that. That's all right. Oh, uh, I started to come back. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, is the goblin next to Sam still alive? Uh, yes. All right. But he's looking a, he's looking a bit battered and bruised. Okay. I run towards him like I jump over the bushes oh my god and I beat the ever living shit out of him with my mace so nice. that's roll to, roll to attack uh, where, where does it say what 5 plus 1 6 that misses oh, what <laughs> Where does it say uh, what what adds on to your attack? Um, next to the like it's 
Um, it should be like hit DC next to the like weapon. It will so be my, your, my, so my dagger is in. Uh, you like got to go to your inventory. Yeah. Like the equipment. Are you on the D and D Beyond? No. No. Okay. It should be. Because you do have to go to your inventory and um, actually select it and equip it. But it's usually with a with a weapon. It'll either be like a special, like it'll say, or it'll be your strength modifier. Just trying to go on the actual website. Oh, I just realized I have to roll a d20 first. Oops. Okay, never mind. Oh, was that your damage that you rolled for before? Yeah, I rolled for my damage. Oh yeah, roll to roll to hit then. Uh, to hit it says plus three, so yeah, fifteen. D20 plus three. That hits right. for six damage. Was it before? Yes. Describe how you kill this goblin. <laughs> uh, I just fucking lay loose on this poor goblin, just like mace to the head, um, just explodes his head, just straight down. Sends it into his body? Yep. He sort of staggers around for a bit and then drops to his knees and falls and that head sort of falls off, rolls out. And that goblin is dead. Fuck yeah. First kill, boys. First kill for the party. Alright, um, so the, that goblin's not doing anything. Oh, These so goblins. There. Equipment. Dagger. How do I equip it? What the fuck? Yeah. This one is going to turn around, move back towards um, Rimi, and make an attack. What is your AC, Hamer? Oh, oh my god, I thought that was empty. <laughs> um, he, he misses miserably. Oh. Yeah. Remy's hard to hit. Not really. Um, Easy to injure. How do I equip a, we a weapon? Sorry. Are Can you I um like, tick the box next to it? Yeah. I can't tick the box. Are you in D and D Beyond? Yeah. Uh, are you signed in? No. Share your screen for a sec. No, no, it's fine. I need to sign in. Yeah. Oh my lord. Get this man shield. Did you, did you just make your hands fuck, Jazz? I'm watching me for. Oh. Where are we on the map, by the way? Uh, you're just in like, just like in a little woods off, like above the land. There's not like it's not like a big okay. enough forest to put on the map, but it's just like a little. Okay, cool, cool. Ah, yes. An internal oh, server this? error. Like, I see. Is this a website, Jazz? This is a game. I had a little leftover money in my Steam wallet. Oh, dear. oh, so you spent money on this? Yeah, it's really fun, like building shit. This is fucking sick. Have you yeah. like? How much have you, like, built preparing? Uh, this is the only one I've built for this session. Okay. We can do other combats, it just means that we won't, like... I still can't tick it. What the fuck? 
Can you still examine it? So, like, if you click on it, can it see? Can you see what it does? Yeah. All right. So, what do you want to know about the dagger? Like, just what it's uh, what the additional hit point things. What's are. your strength modifier? Zero. Zero. <laughs> nice. I Glad we sorted this out. Yeah. Flashing. Okay. Remy. Um. All right. Wait one sec. I'm just making it count so I can. <laughs> <laughs> Look at little Remy. <laughs> All right, we're in. We're in. <clears throat> All right, Gobby, this is your last chance. <laughs> And then I um, pick up a, a stick. It's about a bit bigger than me. And I just start sharpening it in front of him very casually. <laughs> and then I'm going to, I'm just going to throw it at him, <laughs> which it looks close there, but I'm actually, I'm actually quite far away from him. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what modifier to, to put on the, the, well, it's my javelin. Okay, okay. Yeah. Roll to um, roll the hit. I live off the land. Oh yeah, that's a nineteen. That hits. Roll for damage. All right, we've got. Oh, that's an eight. Describe how you killed this goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I throw my my um my little spear, and it uh it just takes. Both his kneecaps right off, and he falls forward <laughs> like a like a signpost. Is he standing side on to you? And then I kick his <laughs> I kick his knee? face. I kick. His, well, he's like running, and then he's like about to. T you you don't need to know the logistics. <laughs> and then as his head hits the ground, I like rub his teeth into the dirt a bit. Like, yeah, 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 you fucking little gobby, I fucking got you, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah, take that, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that goblin oh, it feels good to be back. Dead. Albert, <laughs> took a while. <laughs> I used every single weapon I had against that guy. <laughs> um. Right. Um. Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a little, a little head nod. You can't see it. Um, <laughs> give him a head nod, and I say, "That was a, that was a fine kill." And then I, <laughs> then I immediately, <laughs> I immediately point my halberd directly at this goblin right in front of me, and I go, "You're next, bitch." Do you, uh, do you attack him or? I, yeah, oh yeah, I give him a good poke. Roll to hit. <laughs> um, ah, oh, fuck. I rolled a seven. <laughs> that misses. No, oh, get him between. I, I nutmeg him, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> roll a, um, I don't even know what to roll to see if you nutmeg him. Uh, oh, dexterity? <laughs> No, it'd be performance, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, do a performance check to try and to save this miss. Okay, okay. I got a sixteen plus one for seventeen. Yeah, okay. You get you you, you not make him and laugh. All you? right, I've he's, he's tomorrow. He's, 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 he's I, tomorrow. Yeah. He's <laughs> I look he's over man. and go, not bad, elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt. <laughs> Oh my god, just make the turtle do something, please. <laughs> oh, trust me, I've got a plan. I want him to there's like two, his, right? I, I want him to lick his toes. Yeah, there's one in front of the turtle and one in front of you. There's yeah. one, yeah, there's uh, one here. Well, you're like the turtle still. I don't think it'll yeah. do that, boss. Um, I'm, so I'm still on the turtle. <laughs> All of a I sudden, dream, <laughs> Gerard thrusts its neck, snapping at the goblin to the left. Okay, roll just a flat... Uh, no, roll a d20. To hit that. Whoa. Okay, that hits, and then roll a d4. To oh, oops, bite. Which one's a, that's a triangle one, right? Let's roll a triangle one. 
three. Three. He gets a good drag. Gets a good old bite on that on that goblin's arm there. Oof. As Gerard flings, as Gerard flings his neck, it launches Matt off the back of Gerard, and he's sent flying through the air, squealing. He's going, Aah! and his hands get launched behind his neck, and as they do. Firebolt is cast out of them <laughs> that manages to hit the goblet, or like in the direction of the goblin. Yeah, is right. Firebolt a spell or a cantrip? It's a spell. <laughs> okay, roll to. Um, is that just a damage? Do you just roll a roll for damage for that? Or well, is it wild? Yeah, but like, do you, like you'll still get the spell off. It's just whether something else happens as well. Um. Yeah. Roll for damage on a d10. All right. Roll for damage. Which one's which one's that? Five. You burn that goblin up real good. He starts writhing around trying to put the fire out. Now roll a D twenty to see if we have to do wild magic. Four. Four? Fucking wild five. magic. Oh no. <laughs> It's Matt fine. lands, Matt lands, and he goes, like, well, he doesn't land. Matt skids across the floor, and he goes, ah, ah, what was that? And then he hears the voice, the same deep voice goes, <laughs> Nice. Is that all you do with your turn? That's all I do with my turn. Good <clears throat> shit. Now we have Nick. Okay. Oh, all right. Um. So this dude's still in front of me, yeah? The you've killed the one in front of you. There's another. There's this guy here now. He's the other one. Um, he's okay. demoralized. Remember, yeah. he is demoralized. He got numbered. <laughs> uh, I can do guiding bolt. A flash of light strikes the creature of your choice within range. Make a range oh spell God. attack against the target. On a hit, target takes 4d6 uh, radiant damage. Okay. <laughs> I use that. Roll to, roll to attack. Roll to attack, that's a d20, yeah? Yeah. Right. That's a 17, baby. <laughs> that hits, roll for damage. Uh, what's my damage for this one? Uh... What is it, wasn't it 4d6 radiant damage? Yeah. Uh, it's plus five as well. Holy shit! So four d sixes. So I gotta roll the four. Uh, this guy oh. seems OP. What the three? Shit, oh fuck! I knocked that. One. It's a one. Three, five. Four, nine. And a one again, and then plus five. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> the bolt comes out of your hand, strikes the goblin in the chest, and just turns him to ash instantly. <laughs> There's no like dematerialization. It is just in one second, he is fully Damn. fucked and dead. That's beyond dead, man. That's like forgotten. Is, he's been he's been banished to hell. And we'll never. We'll he never doesn't even back. get a backstory. Yeah, he doesn't get a name. He doesn't get anything. Uh, can we give him a name and a backstory? No, because he got killed. So there was so much damage put Besides into him. one of my um, spell slots as well. Life is short. And so if you've fallen off there, um, this guy is going to attack. What's your AC, Sam? This goblin slashes at you with one of his knives for three damage. Ooh, where do I put that in? It's going to be a tough one to recover from. Uh, 
How do I, how do I put it into the website? Um, you could just like note it down on a yeah. piece of paper. Is um just asking where it says max HP? Is that what we're at at the moment? Yeah, and you're then all, our, you guys roll it. Max. Then our current HP is where we'd put like yeah, yeah. Okay, and then what's temp HP? Uh, that's for if there's any spells that like can there's spells that can Rolling. give you temporary HP. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, this one's going to attack Gerard. <gasps> no, Gerard. my turtle! My turtle! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> His armor class was probably like 50. Good fucking luck. Mm. Yeah, he drives a knife at Gerard, but Gerard just slowly just looks at him, chews a bit, and then looks back forward. <laughs> and he's completely unfazed by being stabbed in the neck. Now we are back at... <laughs> That's me! <laughs> After I'm done stomping on the scalpel head... Oh, I'll head over to. Actually, I'll head over to Victor, and I'll see if I can help him out. Hello, Vicky. Uh, do you want to make a like a make a medicine check? Yeah. All right. That's three. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's fine. <laughs> wow! Just what a legend. <laughs> Glad yeah, to see you're in the thick of it, Ribby. And then I um, I just I sit back down. <laughs> I find a nice little toadstool mushroom to sit on. I just look back at him and be like, "We're still in combat, boy. Get up!" <laughs> and I, I sing my song. Never I sing my song. <laughs> I say, "Okay, little goblin." Sitting in the dirt. Okay, little goblin. <laughs> What's it worth? Uh, well, Rimmy is singing that song. Albatoire, it is your turn. Um, I let out an elvish roar. <laughs> Can I die? And run direct. I, I, I. <laughs> Run directly towards the uh, the goblin fighting mass. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. You make it there. You can attack. I will go for an overhead slash. Roll to attack. Roll to roll, hit. Roll to hit. Roll to hit. Um, I got an eleven. That misses. God damn. Uh, it is Matt's turn. Uh, he's now. Oh, wait. My firebolt was a cantrip. Oh, well, sweet. That's all. You just look around and be like, I was meant to do that, don't worry. <laughs> well,. Matt's just been fucking stabbed. Oh. Goes, oh. Fuck. Uh, I open letters tougher than you. And then he pulls out his dagger and then slashes at the goblin wildly. Roll to hit. Roll intimidation as well. Yeah, roll, yeah, roll intimidation. <laughs> slashes letters. <laughs> you roll, roll it's intimidation. It's a 19 first. on intimidation. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Roll with advantage. So roll it well, twice and take the better one. So roll you. So it's just a just roll two d twenty to take the better value. I got four and eight. <laughs> you miss, but the goblin's rattled. That that got to him. Gerard, that stuck with him. Can I move Gerard? Yeah, yeah. So you can play for Gerard now as well. Gerard is a little a little, a little confused by all the commotion. 
and just turns his head to face me and like smacks the goblin. Like just on the turn. He's just not aware enough of his size. So the one that's facing you? Yeah. Because he's like, what's going on with Matt? Oh, yeah, he just, like, with his jaw, just bonks the goblin over the head. <laughs> now it is Nicky Jake's turn. Uh, I, I watched the elf just <laughs> run towards these goblins, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, but I, of course I don't say that, because I'm a good child. Um, I run behind me to uh, Victor... And I use Cure Wounds. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh. Why? Yeah, he's Why? fine. <laughs> How would you know? Yeah. I've studied I them. Him. You checked him? Yes. That's not good enough. You need yeah, to know I, the ins and outs of a body boy. I, I pulled his <laughs> pant leg up and he's good. You, pu- you pulled his pant leg. <laughs> make, yeah. a, make a medicine check. Zach. Uh, D20? Yeah, uh, D to and then plus the medicine. Yeah. Uh, where's my medicine? Uh, where is my medicine? Is the medicine? There is. Yeah, there is. I'm just blind. Plus five. Okay. It's plus eleven five, plus so five, rolled. sixteen. <laughs> so Hamish rolled a three, and I told him that it was fine. Um, with a with a, with a sixteen, he's been doing death saves and has two fails and one. Uh, one succeed. Oh, if he rolls a fuck. If he, at the end of this round, if he rolls a d twenty and gets below a ten, he will die. Um. Oh crap! Is it heal wounds? Healing yeah. word, I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Uh, creature of you choice. Can you can see within range. Regenerates hit points equally to yeah one d four plus your spe- uh, spell casting. Ability modifier. Uh, so I use healing word to Victor. Nice. Roll. Uh, do the do the necessary D20. rolls for that first, or um, it's a no. It's because it's just a it's like you. It's a character in range of your uh, next turn. So. Yeah. Okay. So one D four plus six. Oh fuck. Okay. It's a four plus six. Nice. And um, how do you heal him? There... I get my quarter staff out, and I, I I murmur some words to myself like <laughs> and I wind it back and whack him over the face with it. <laughs> <You're> like, oh, <laughs> Jesus! And as that happens, you see like the slash in his belly just sort of mostly heal up, but there's a pretty big scar there that's that's remained. Welcome back to the world of the living, boy. I, I reach up a hand for gravel as well. <laughs> to me? Uh, to yeah, Victor. Where, who you... Oh, to Victor. Um, he, he he takes the gravel. Are you, are you gesturing coins. with me? He gives you 20 coins. Oh! Fuck, that's never, that's never worked. Thank, Capitalism. Thank you, thank you, Remy. Thank you so much. I think you've saved my life. R- Remy? Yeah, this cool Remy. guy into the chat. What's I just... Up? <laughs> I just turn around and just... Oh, God. All right, we've got these guys to... Uh, this, this, this guy that's going to get fucked up. He's going <laughs> to roll to hit... See him again. He misses, and then the one rolls to hit Gerard again and <laughs> misses. Um, so it is Remy's turn again. Oh, Can we you. know Gerard's stats, or are they or are they secret? Uh they're secret. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to know how much of a beast my turtle is. <laughs> we'll find his limits when he dies. I hope it doesn't come oh, All that fighting's got me working up a sweat. And I just drop to my knees and start shoveling to it in my mouth. <laughs> 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 
All right. Don't get any knowledge of the land. Uh, uh, roll a nature check. Fuck yeah. So, Jesus. It's 21. Jesus. Okay, you know exactly where things are, which I'll be able to, I'll be able to tell you later on. So, um, you know exactly like back where the town is. You gotta you can close your eyes as you're just shoveling gravel into your mouth. You can see the buildings behind you. You can see the campsite. Um, and you can you sense a, a body um, tied up behind the tent over there. I look up uh, I look up at Nick with the like some like really cold, almost like dead eyes, and I just say, I know everything, Nick. <laughs> I just look back at him and be like Is that so, boy? <laughs> and I run off into a bush <laughs> well, which, what, This bush or like this yeah, bush? Yeah, the one or... right in front of me <laughs> right, You're yeah. in the bush <laughs> yeah. Alright, Albatois Yo It is your turn Um, alright I I shout you will not get away so easily this time. <laughs> and I go for a sweep of the legs, shop at the ankles hit. Okay, uh, roll to hit. Tw- nat 20, baby. Nat oh, 20. nat 20. Roll, that that <laughs> first. means... The first of the first game. Nat 20. So, nat, so if you roll a nat 20 to hit, that means you do double damage. Oh! Sheesh! No way you're roll, gonna miss now. Roll, roll a d. Roll two d tens. Do well. Okay. Just okay. so you know, uh, whatever the Sam, uh, a Gerard is an omnivore. <laughs> oh shit! There you go. That's good to uh, know. Shit! Really? A one. <laughs> you're just not having great luck, are you? <laughs> and a five. <laughs> uh, you. You go to sweep his legs and just fully cut him in half. And the Ah. torso of him is still wriggling around, kind of alive, until Gerard just starts (laughs) chowing down (laughs) on the torso. Oh, Omnivore. I got Omnivore and Herbivore mixed up. Gotcha, Goblin. I'm so sorry. Goblin is dead. It's just... I One shove my left. hand down his spinal cord and rip out his spine and say, <laughs> Huzzah! Right, add, a, add, a gob, add, a, add a spine to your inventory. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> goblin spine. Just gonna just walk around with a spine in your fucking back pocket now. Also, that. Jazz, right. when yeah. I eat gravel, can I clarify that the information I want to receive is useless facts about the land? Useless facts about the land? You, specifically useless. Okay. All right, I'll keep that in mind next time. All right, Matt and Gerard. Gerard's just fucking... Man's just chomping away on that corpse, just having a real good time. He's like a pig in poo. Jesus (laughs) Christ. (laughs) And Matt goes, Ah, Matt, guess you didn't need breakfast after all, and gives himself a little chuckle. No, he look. He looks to looks to Albie and he goes, oh, th- thanks, man. That was that was pretty nifty. You want you want to see another cool trick?" And then he hurls his dagger over Gerard at the at the goblin. I uh, just roll a um, I get, like just roll a d twenty with your I guess dexterity modifier to hurl the dagger. Uh, nat twenty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, was that plus the modifier oh. to get to 20? Or no, is that just roll 20? Tw- okay. That's just a roll 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, roll, is it a d4 for the dagger? Yeah. So roll two d4s. It's two nat 20s in a row. I got a four. Four. And a two. That's just what happens when you get the two normal races together, am I right? <laughs> Um, the normal. dagger oh. lodges in the goblin's eye and he goes, oh, and, st- and turns around and starts like stumbling away, but is still alive. Uh, no, it's, he's not turning. Um, it is, is Gerard going to do anything or is he just chowing down? No, he's just enjoying his meal. <laughs> All right. Back to... Good, good throw, little boy. Um... 
now that I see uh, Victor is okay, I turn to the last goblin and I run towards him. Can I get to him in time? Is your movement 30? 30, yeah. Uh, that's as far as you can get. You can just take a dash to get closer. Uh, actually, you might be able to attack. Yeah, I want to do a dash. Three, four, five. Uh, you can get like anywhere. Yeah, yeah, just in front of him is fine. And then I uh, wind back my mace and try uh, to hit him. Because you've taken a dash, you can't. Oh, it. yeah, true, 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 true. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just right next to him. Um, this goblin is just going to take a disengage from Isaac and just move. Oh, no, he'll move. Come on. I just bit to a cherry tomato and it went everywhere. <laughs> That's what you get for eating a cherry tomato. Yeah. It just turned on my Google. <laughs> <laughs> so it, dumb. It's all over my keyboard. Oh my god. All right, Remy, it is your turn through the cherry tomato juice. Um. Shit. Piss even. Stop. It's one sec. I gotta clean my phone because it keeps opening Google. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Do we want to use like a 20 minute real quick? Or a 10 minute? 5 minute? Oh, yeah, I also need to use the bathroom. So that yeah, let's take a yeah, 5 minute. Using bathroom. Yeah, I need to clean uh, my I'll fucking be, <laughs> And before you say, oh, I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for me, nobody believes that. That'd be like going fishing not to catch fish, but to look good doing a walk out to Tim Duncan. Fishing. Jazz, dad got me more rods and more gear. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, do you have any old, like, speaker systems that you're not using? Because we've just got a, like, a record player. Oh, fuck yeah. I can open up. The worst weather I've ever been in. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've ever had worse. Yeah, that was real bad. It was funny. It was... I it, I just loved the, like... <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here! <laughs> it was literally, it was literally like a destiny thing, like walking through the fucking. Yeah. Oh, was just like, walking away from the yeah. 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 <laughs> Dude, I've never been more scared for my Ooh. beanie in, in my. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I, I, mean, like, was... I, looked, I looked back and saw you had your beanie over your face, and I walked back like through it to like pull the beanie <laughs> up and then get walking. Honestly, I thought like I thought either all my shit was getting like blown off. Like phone and stuff. Yeah. Or I was gonna just like get blown over the edge. That would have been a disaster. Yeah. And then it was like clear skies after. Yeah. It was because it was so close to the it was like out there on the water. It was yeah, it was it was kinda crazy. Alright. Remy. Alright, we're all here. You're in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> um I'm in a bush. You're in a bush. What am I doing? What's happening? There's there's one there's one goblin. There's one goblin. There's one left. goblin left. And there is a uh so give me a perception check from but with disadvantage because you're in oh, actually no, just No, because he ate gravel, didn't he? You ate the gravel, but you're in a bush. So just a flat perception check. Six. Ah, uh, that body's probably dead. Uh, you see, uh, I'm gonna say, oh, there's one more goblin, guys. I've got this, and then I'm just gonna throw my hand axe in the air, like straight up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get like perfectly up in the air. 
Yeah. Fucking... Uh, roll, roll to hit on yourself then. <laughs> so roll twice. Um. Oh, do you oh, have two ant? Do you want to? Do you want to throw two ant and axes in the air? Well, I'm throwing it straight up, so I hope it hits the goblin. You know, like the wind and stuff. Like the trajectory will work itself. Oh, okay, out. okay. Roll to yeah, okay. Roll the hit then with disadvantage. Okay. First rolls a nineteen. <laughs> this dude fucked. Ah, well, actually, I got, I got, I got nineteen modified. Uh, you, roll to, roll to hit. Roll for damage. I mean, is it hitting? Oh, is it hitting the goblin or himself? Goblin. Yeah, you're, you're aiming for this goblin, aren't you? Yeah, but I, I, I that was roll good for roll for disadvantage. I got um, yeah, seven, seven points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking heave an axe up into the air. <laughs> As this goblin stumbling around, not really looking where he's going, bumping into Gerard, into trees, just doom, perfectly on the back of his head, oh, yeah, nice. lands your axe, he drops to his knees, falls, and we are out of combat. And then my well, head, my head, my head cranks around like an owl, and I look at Victor, and I just say, I told you, I'll see everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I put my weapons away and start praying. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> um, you sit down and start praying. What do Albertois and Matt and Gerard do, if you have any control over Gerard? What does Gerard do? Tell us. Is is yeah? Is Gerard a pet, or is he? Or is it like a symbiotic sort of relationship? Is he uh, he's not a familiar, um, he's but a pet. he's just—he's a pet. Okay. He's a pet. So this he, he knows. He knows. He knows. He's more him. than that. He's a brother. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, what uh, yeah. That? What do what do Albertois and Matt do now that you're out of? Combat. I awkwardly, I, I awkwardly approach Albie. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I said it earlier, but um, yeah, I'm Matt, and, and this is Gerard, and Gerard kind of goes like, like makes a little bit of a noise, like he, he knows what I'm talking about. And like, it's, it's really nice to meet you. And then Matt hears a third voice go. And I am Babadush. And then that's it. Matt's slightly startled by the voice introducing itself. Uh, while this is happening, uh, Nikajik is gathering all the bodies and putting them on the fire. Nice. <laughs> no, uh, roll a perception check. Uh, perception. Let me just... Twelve... Uh, where's perception? I just went back. Uh, come on, please don't do this to me. Wait, I have my character sheet. What am I doing? Uh, perception plus three. Twelve plus three. Fifteen. Fifteen. These goblins look familiar. Like you've seen uh... them. You've seen the sort of marks and weapons and like the way they dress. They, they've, you've seen them somewhere before. Hmm. I know these goblins. I pull one off the flame and toss him to the side to loot him. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, you find, you just find like he's got like some like a few bones. Um, you know, he's got his daggers and just a little like a, a piece of parchment with like a purple spiral on it hmm. interesting um, so I, you can add that to your inventory yes i will uh... um while you guys are all doing that victor gets up and starts frantically searching the camp and notices his boy over over here and goes can, can any of you heal my son he sees he's badly hurt uh I I can. <laughs> I run over. 
to run over and the, the the kid is looking like he's in he's in like a state of shock like he's just sort of sitting there just eyes wide open he's not tied up okay um wait can i can i race over you can uh since i don't know how to add items to my backpack i'm just going to write it down um oh fuck i've used all my spell slots Oh no, I have Spare the Dying as cantrip. Thank god I saw that. Whew. Uh, living. Uh, I use Spare the Dying. Well, nice, the, the kid's like, sort of, it, the, you can see the aura sort of goes through him. He sort of wakes up a bit, but he's still like just in like a, like a state of shock. And that doesn't, he just goes like, Dad? And, and, Victor goes, it, it's okay, son. It's okay. These these people have helped us. And he looks at he looks at the two of the uh, weirder looking folk that are that are surrounding him and looks he's shitting himself. Because he's just been taken by goblins and now he's woken up to see a dragon person and a tiny grey dude standing over him. Hello, you have this. And then I hold out the goblin's jaw that I've taken from its mouth. He starts crying. The kid starts crying. Oh, whoops. You idiot, uh, is... and then backhand him over the head. <laughs> uh, uh, what is Albertoire doing, Sloz? Um, uh, he is... Uh... Greetings, young boy. What a warrior you are. May I know your name, good soldier? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I mustn't have said it loud enough the past couple tries. I, 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 I am Matt, and this is Gerard. Ah, Matt, it's good to see another normal-looking fellow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And who is this, this companion of yours? He seems very powerful. <sighs> I won't... His name's Gerard. Wow. Very impressive. I've known him since he was a wee snapper. Um, give me a perception check, Sloz. Uh, ba 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 ba. 17. You notice the black amulet on. That is around um, Sam's neck, and you remember that back at home in Thalalanor, where you you used to live, there was a priest there. Um, one of the priests of the of the church wore a similar um, looking amulet around his neck. You can make a religion check if you want. If you want to remember. Yeah, just uh, make a religion check. Make a religion check? Uh, yeah. bu -bu -bu okay. So, eight with a plus one, nine. Nine. Okay, so you can't really remember. You know it was not one of the... Uh, let me just... I'll stop streaming this. Now, so I don't need to... Let's just look at my notes. Um... You know, it was not. Um, it was not any of the of the gods of light. So none that reside in heaven. But it was one of the it was one of the gods that is of a more the... evil nature. Okay, okay, one of an evil nature. Okay. Wow, where Matt? Where did you find this this amulet? I reach out and and touch it and pull it towards me. Uh, as he tries to pull it off the chest, of his chest, it doesn't pull fully away as it started to fuse to, the, see, to Matt's skin. As you as you go and reach to sort of take it, Sloz, something sort of takes over Gerard and he sort of looks like through his brow and just like very lightly growls. Um, uh, 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 I found it in a. I found it's it's actually it's a funny story. I will, 
I work at, at the postal exchange and I found it in a letter and it's contraband. And I, I thought it looked cool. So I was like, uh, I'll take it. Mm, do you okay. like, do you like it? I am very intrigued with it. I would, I would like to, I would like to know more about it one time. Yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about it. He hears the spirit's voice again in his head. <laughs> you will. You will. We should head over to the uh, the other people. <clears throat> people, if uh, you can call them people. <laughs> Matt awkwardly laughs along. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you guys. Uh, so Nick, what did the what did the stone turkey say to the the street vendor? He just awkwardly looks over at the what? The stone turkey. <laughs> what did the stone turkey? What is a stone turkey? A turkey that's made of stone. Why would there be a turkey made out of stone? Uh, what does it say? <laughs> I don't like this. Explain it to me, boy. He like he looks intently. He sits down in front of him. He's like, "Tell me a bit more about the stone turkey." The stone turkey says, <laughs> "Go on." Gobble, gobble. Well, yes, it would make gobble, gobble. But why is it no, made no, out no, of stone? No, no. Boy, I need to know why it's made out of stone. No, no, this is it. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he breaks out in hysterical laughter. I see, I see. It's because he is cobblestone. Yeah. That is great fun. I do like this one. He picks him up and puts him on his shoulder. I love a dragon that can make a joke. Your kind of. What do you mean, my kind? Just throws him on the floor. <laughs> You say my kind one more time, I'm a, I'm at the same walk of life as you, boy. Roll a, Zach, as you slam him on the ground, roll a d20 with your strength modifier. That was a great Oh, tip. fuck. <laughs> Kills the fucking... Two. <laughs> Plus one, two, two, three. Okay, roll an acrobatics check, Amo. Mm. <laughs> acrobatics? Acrobatics. I'm gonna turn a fan on one sec. 19, you do a, like, as he throws you, you, do a perfect, like, forward roll. Flip back up onto your feet. You fucking dragon, I'll have you! <laughs> run off. <laughs> you run off. Yeah, fuck, I had, I start digging a hole. <laughs> as you start, you start burrowing, he goes, please, please! <laughs> Could you, I, I, I'm afraid, sir, that your, your, your work... If you if you would like, he's not fully done. Could you please help me and my son uh, go back home to to Swanford? My wife will be. He needs to be with my wife and and the priest. Something awful's happened to him. And the son is still just like hollow eyes, just looking around, not really knowing where he is. I I, I just agree. I'm like right to the priest. Then let us go. I already fucked up my chances with the sun, so I'm just. I don't know. I, I pick come him up, on. put him on my shoulder <laughs> again. Oh, just like, come on, off we go. <laughs> Too bad you're coming along. <laughs> uh, Matt and Albertois, what do you guys say? Uh, I guess we jo we join. I give uh, the dragonborn a nudge. Well done, you are quite a fighter for your kind. I am very, I have great respect for you. That was a brilliant shot with the lightning. My god, he didn't even have a name after that one. I just say nothing and keep on walking. I ignore him. Or a, back, or a backstory, I'd say. <laughs> uh, a great little mole man. I mean, right, everybody, this is Matt. He helped us with this fight and his ginormous tortoise. It's impressive. Uh, hi. hi guys, uh, I'm Matt. And this is Gerard. I mean, I, I guess I'll I'll tag along. I only make minimum wage, so 
I mean, someone can ride on Gerard with me if they want. Like, that's totally cool. He's super friendly. Vic, uh, yes, put my boy in there. He, he just sort of just barges through and puts puts his his child up on the up on the turtle. Bought it's us. like we're all right again, Vivian, today. <laughs> I just ignore I put, that comment. <laughs> I put my hand firmly <laughs> on. I put my hand firmly on Victor. Is it Victor? Victor, yeah. Victor's shoulder. Right, Victor. We did a wonderful job saving your son. Would you be able to uh, uh, pay us soon? Where's what is our reward? I, I I don't have much much to my name, sir. I've got a few. I have this here, and he holds out. Five gold pieces. Um, he's like, this is all I have. I, I have. I have more at home. But well, you gave twenty of them it. to me earlier. He did. <laughs> I gave most of it to to to, to, to Remy uh, for the for the dirt. He saved my life. Oh no! I thank you kindly, but I don't. I have more I money at home. I have more money at home. You can take this amongst yourselves for your work. Just... Well, to your home then. I put all my coins to the ground. <laughs> that one. Um, so you guys... Gerard starts rav- starts ravaging the coins that have been put in the ground and eating them like they're snacks. <laughs> oh, I'm fucker. watching in horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Gerard, don't... Uh, uh, never want to get in between a snapping turtle and his gold. It looks like the gold. <laughs> Looks like we're not getting them back in a while. (laughs) So you guys set off towards Swanford. And you make it, if you look on the map, you make it about halfway there in the first day, but then the sun starts to set. Uh, I set up camp. uh, Let me check my inventory. Are we still all together? Yep. We're all together, okay. And we're in sort of this forest area. You're moving sort of just through like grasslandy forest area towards yep. Swanford. Oh, towards mm-hmm. Swanford, right? Yeah, which right. is where, um, which is where Victor lives. I see. I see. Um, I might have to leave because I got work early. Oh, yeah, we're almost. I I also have work. Oh, cool, yeah, cool, cool. If it, if there's a good time. Cool. So, wait, I'm looking at the map though. Where's Swan? To the left. Oh. Oh. Top Westwood. Right. Ah, yes. Westwood. So we've just gone through Stoke. Where, where you started in Thalalanor and you've moved through like the Stokedale forests are like <laughs> thick, you. like harsh woods that like are. We're just like, on the outskirts. Borderline bush bashing. You did like the forest and stuff you've been in is just like outskirts of Thalalanor, like just like mild foliage. All right. So. We're going to Swanton now because that's where Victor lives. Yeah, because that is where Victor lives. And right. so you guys. And what was Victor? Yeah. Victor was just in a bar and flail. Yeah, he was just in a he was just in a bar um, looking for help to find to help find his son. Cool. And so you guys set up camp. Is there anything else? Any other, any plans or conversations Gerard. that I had? I long rest. Gerard. I need a long rest. Yeah. So like I kinda set up for bed. Gerard uh retracts himself into his shell and Matt sneaks into the shell for a little cuddle. <laughs> and curls up in the shell with Gerard. Just two besties nice. bunking. Um what's uh what does a camp look like for, for Albertois? Um, he has a large, perfectly pitched triangular tent, and nice. and he is uh he has a singular, no no bed, just a circular mat, which he uh is sitting on, perfectly legged crossed. And what's um, uh what's Remy's camp looking like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think we all know. Yeah. <laughs> he's procured a little blanket that he's made from leaves and mud. And he's put that over Nick and then just dug a hole and he's sleeping in that. 
All right. So everyone has tucked themselves in for the night. Um, everyone give me, everyone that is a, a, we'll do a survival check. A survival check. Is that just That's a D20? Be, a D20 and there oh, should be a Oh, there is, there is. Yeah, yep. yep. Fuck. I got 17. I got a, 17? I got, I got a 19. Survival is I got my a, forte. I got a 5. Survival five. is my 4. I got a 7. 7? I, I got a 19. Okay, so... Um, Nick Jig and Matt, you both wake up to a, like... A like ear piercing like shriek. Ah! <laughs> what is that? Um, I hear something. I get my weapons at the ready, go. and I actually put my um, I put my chainmail on. I put my armor on. The, the way the way that Matt is woken up is Gerard hears it and launches out of his shell, and then Gerard launches out of his shell. So is Matt, and he kind of wakes up. <laughs> Okay, so Matt, you you sprawl out onto the floor, and as you look, like as you dust yourself off and look up, um, Nikajik, you notice this as well. There is a dagger in the chest of Victor, and he is dead. And that is I... where we will end this first session. Bruh! <laughs> wait, wait, sorry. What what happened at the end there? Bye. Bye.